What's up everybody, ODC here, and I'm back with another live build a character video. Um, today we are going to do a, uh, well, I'll actually just kind of wait for people to stage in, then I'll kind of explain everything this way. I'm not uh, explaining myself <laughs> multiple times, but um, I do have a couple updates uh, for some other characters before we get into the specific one that we're going to do today. Um, I also am going to take a little bit of a poll in the live chat, and we'll see which character, because I have three, actually I have three, four characters I have staged here for different um, customs. Uh, well, not customs, but, you know, build a characters. Um, uh, Dem Guts, how's it going, man? Zorpox, how you, how you doing, buddy? Welcome, everyone. <laughs> All right, so I have three characters here, technically four, maybe five-ish. One I'm still working on um, as far as pieces go and everything. Um, I'm trying to fix Strident's character. I feel like he's a, his his character needs to, add, needs to be added a little bit more, but... Um, We'll get to that in a later video. I'm going to do a uh, probably a video on uh, uh, Fenris Company and, and all the... I'm trying to get the whole team done, so... Anyway, so we have, three, we have three characters today, three bags. I'm going to label them one, bag one, two, and three. Uh, and s simply, I'm just going to do a little poll, and we'll do that in the chat, and the majority will win. Uh, you just pick a number... And we'll go with that bag. You, you're you not going to see what the bag is because, you know, I don't want to give anything away. And that's kind of the fun of doing this is not knowing what I'm building uh, and then guessing, you know, halfway through. So hopefully. All right. So hopefully no one will guess right away what it is. But, <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, this should be a lot of fun. So why don't we go ahead and um, I wish I could create a poll in this that would be. Fantastic. I wish I could add a poll to this, but I am on my iPad, so you have to bear with me here. Anyway, uh, so let's go with, uh, we'll do it with uh, bag one, two, or three. So just write which number you want in chat, and uh, we'll go with that bag or that uh, character for the day. Um, I'll try and get the other two done within the next couple days or so, just doing this. So, All right, so we have one vote for bag three. Bag two. Ba two. Two for two. One for three. Zero votes for one. That's where we're at right now. Just letting you know. Give you guys another... 20 seconds to get your votes in. And then we'll just start. Because. Three. So now we have a tie. <laughs> now we have a tie. Two. Oh, two's back up. All right. Two's back up. Oh, wait. Dem got switched to two. Okay. All right. <laughs> he went from three to two. All right. So. It looks like I'll probably get copyright stricken just for humming that. <laughs> That's how bad YouTube has been. All right, so we're just going to go with bag two, which is fine. They're, they're, all three of them are, are really good, and I think you'll like all three of them. But uh, all three of these are also based on actual G.I. Joe characters. This is not a subscriber uh, video. We'll we'll save that for a little bit later. I'm still working on two of them. I'm um, still waiting on parts and a couple other things. Also playing around with ideas. So um, anyway, so here is bag two. Now, this one might be the easiest to guess. I'm not going to show his web gear because that will just give it right away. <laughs> so we're going to go with this. Um, All right, so we have a torso. 
Okay. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can. I can adjust this lighting because right now it looks like a poo fest. So let's get let's get all up in there like that. There we go. That's much better. It's not as washed out as it was. Um, so here we go. We have this torso. We're gonna start with. Okay. And then I already put the, the knee pads on, so you have to excuse me for doing that. But we're going to have these legs. Try to refrain from guessing just yet. <laughs> um, we're going to go with this head. Okay. I can't even show you that. I can't even show you the... Um, we're going to go with these forearms these hands little scarf we have a knife we have a belt two black feet boots I should say two black boots A little canteen, and just a, a holster and some some pouches. So that's pretty much the build. It's a simple build. Um, this guy doesn't really need anything else. Uh, I'm not going to get to the weapons or the, the. We'll do the web gear last, and we'll do the head gear last. That with the web. We'll do the weapon very last. So. Um, but I think this is a nice build. It's a very simple build. It did not cost me very much. I'll get to price point and all that at the end. Um, but let's go ahead and start off. We're going to swap these arms out. First thing we're going to do. If the video does go fast, and I do, I know this is a fast build because I've already built it, and then that's that's what I've been doing lately is building these up while when I get them, as soon as I get them, so I know what what recipe to go with. And then I tear them down and I save them for the video. Um, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these forearms and put the regular cloth forearms on. Um, I don't want this guy having uh, armor on his forearms, so that's what we're going to do. So let me get my... You know, we're going to go back to the hair dryer. Back to the hair dryer. <laughs> good and pop goes the weasel because the weasel goes pop there's two so we have no arms <laughs> right now <laughs> we have no arms and there we go they uh, slid right in there look at that like a hot knife through butter there we go and there we have our arms so far like I said if this build does go fast because uh, I do, I did prep this one and the and uh, the other two. Uh, then I will do a second one, and I will just put that in the title of the video after you guys guess all this stuff. So <laughs> that's what we'll go with. All right. So there's that, and now let's get our hands in, which we have two of these gray gloved hands. So that's what we're gonna go with. Heating up those arms. should be good and we just simply slide the hand in there wow that was very easy I probably could have done that without any heat that was so easy we get the other hand over here pop that sucker in there and then there we have our hands so there we go we are halfway there about maybe a little bit less than halfway but okay next all we're gonna do is we're just going to put on the belt so we've got our belt, we've got our pants, 
and let's just put that on. So, boom, boom, and work it, work it around the waist like so, and there you are. Boom, shalak, lock, boom. <laughs> all right, so next up, we're just going to, actually, you know what? Before we get to doing all that, let me get this stuff out of my way. I have so much stuff on this table, it's ugh, driving me nuts. All right, so next we're going to do the feet. So we're going to take these um, green boots off and put that on the black ones. So Mind your ears and your eardrums, sirs and madams. <laughs> And the, and the only reason I don't do this on camera, Human Mechanism, yo, Joe. How's it going, bud? Thanks for popping by. <laughs> I really dug the uh, video you posted today. <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. That was a good one. <laughs> All right, so here's the, uh, the foot. We got our foot, and we're just going to slide it on in. Just slide it in there. <laughs> that was that was fantastic. <laughs> if you guys haven't checked it out, check out the Human Mechanisms uh, a video today. It was pretty good. It's a good, good wake up call for me. <laughs> um, that's that was the first video I woke up to today. Still, so. <laughs> All right, last uh, last foot. As if there's a lot of feet. There's only two. <laughs> Should be good. And ooh, ooh, tougher than I thought it was going to be. No, oh, no, we gotta work a little more. All right. All right. There we go. Sometimes the feet are a little bit stubborn. They do get a little bit stubborn. But that went on. Beautifully. There we go. And we have our black boots on. He's ready for the runway, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so next we're just going to snap that torso up. And we've got the beginnings of something. Of something, right? So we'll just put him right here. There we go. Let me, i got to work this... Uh, there we go. That's a little bit better. He's having foot problems. So I started watching this show called, uh, and I know it's been around for three seasons now, uh, Queen of the South. Um, with, uh, I believe her name is Alice Var Vargas? No, it's not Alice Vargas. I can't remember her last name. But she was uh, she was the sniper in Predators. Um and she's a fantastic actress, and I was just started watching that. Um, but, uh, yeah. So there's actually a bunch of uh, shows and movies on Netflix that are pretty decent right now, as far as uh, the variety goes for Netflix. But, uh, oh, yeah. I also watched... Um, <laughs> I watched the new that new Adam Sandler... Um, what was it? As I'm putting it on his head. The new Adam Sandler. Oh wait, I gotta put this on first. Sorry, I gotta put this little scarf on. Uh, Adam Sandler and uh, Jennifer Aniston movie called Murder Mystery, which was it's it's like Clue. Like if you like if you like the movie Clue, then you'll enjoy this movie. I think it's very much like Clue, but with different style comedy. Obviously, the Adam Sandler style comedy. Uh, okay, so there's not really that much left, <laughs> and this is a quick video, so we will do two today, because um, it's not going to take much for you guys to A, as soon as I put on his, his web gear, you're going to get it right away. Um, but, uh, all right, so next up we have his knife, and we're just going to put that knife right there, okay? And then next up, we're going to take his pistol holster and we're gonna put that pistol holster right in there on the belt itself and then we're gonna take this and put that on the back oh okay you're gonna be stubborn all right there you go there you go and 
Pocket, pocket, pockets. Line up a little. No droopy pants here. <laughs> no, it's... Um... <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. He's starting to look the part. He's beginning to look the part like Christmas. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right. So there we go. We have him... All set up. Oh, we've got our first guess in here. There he is so far. There's not really that much left. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. And as soon as I put on the web gear, which is coming next, and the headgear, and then I give him his weapon, you're going to get it right away. So let's just go ahead and, and do that. I'll take him off screen. If you guys want to get your last guesses in before I show you this, because you're going to be like, oh, it's that guy. Him. Yes, that is it. Then go ahead with your guesses. Well, here comes the judge. Oop. Trying to. There we go. Oh, now I have pockets falling off. I should have glued these, but I was trying to save the suspense. Oh, second guess. Second guess there. Second, I can't believe no one's got this yet. Do oh three guesses. Uh oh, I think I lost a pocket. Uh oh. Whoa, Billy. Billy King. I can't believe I found it. I swear to God, my eyesight has improved from owning Marauders uh, Task Force parts because. This guy, or these pieces fall all the time on the ground. I'm constantly searching for stuff. All right, so we have the headgear on and the web gear, and I'm just going to give him his rifle, right? Or his, his rifle or his assault, whatever, you know. You know, I'm not going to give it up what it is, but uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and give him his weapon, too, and I'll put him in front of the camera. Any more guesses, sirs, madams? So we got, is it Hawk? I don't know. Is it Hawk? I don't think so. Well, he's not Hawk. He's not Dusty. It's definitely not Dusty. And it's not Duke. Uh-oh. I would never make a scoop figure. I hate that character. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry to the people that like scoop, but I would never own a scoop figure ever. <laughs> All right, here it comes. You guys ready? Here it comes. Oh, it's not Chuckles. No, it's not hit and run. <laughs> I got you guys this time. This is hilarious. No. Keep going. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'm going to put my hand in front of the camera. You can't see it. It's not Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't have Sergeant Slaughter on a Marauder body. But I do have a custom Sergeant Slaughter. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Ching! It's Crosshair. <laughs> I gave him his MSR. I gave him his boonie hats. And, uh... Gave him his original web gear. Um, the, I I watched a lot of the reviews of the FSS Crosshair, and I was like, yeesh, that figure is a poo fest. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to make my own Crosshair. And this honestly did not cost me much of anything. Um, I had a lot of the pieces already from the, the a lot of the, the Kickstarter but um, this probably won't cost you very much. Here's the original. There's the original, and here is him now. Um, I think it's pretty close. I'm, I'm going to throw a couple more pockets on the shoulders and little doodads right there. I'll probably throw a little, um, uh, what should we call it? Uh, <laughs> I'll, I might actually put the pistol... Because he does have a leg-mounted pistol right here. I might just put that 
down on his leg and then put another pouch right there for ammo or something. But uh, yeah, this is what he looks like. Let's actually get that down there now. There we go. That's a little bit better looking. Um, the uh, I don't I think that this figure is actually a decent figure. So if you want like maybe a vintage style, I know it's New Sculpt era, but if you want maybe like a smaller like a vintage style crosshair to go with your vintage figures, I think this can uh, fit in if you can. Maybe he's just a little bit of a taller guy, you know. But yeah, I love the Venom vs. Valor line. It's a fantastic line. Um, the hat is also removable on him, so you can take that off. I was considering reusing the hat, but I was like, nah, we'll just go with a new hat. So, um, As far as the face goes, I didn't necessarily want to go with this face, but I haven't found a... Um, a uh, I don't have too many clean-shaven faces, uh, unfortunately, so this was the clean-shaven face. And I think it looks pretty good as far as um, likeness. They both have kind of like a little comb over style haircut. His is a little bit thicker, but uh, you know, it's okay. It works, I think. He's been tanning. He's not been tanning, you know? <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it looks pretty good as far as the head sculpt goes. Um, I even tried using this hat and it just, uh, I guess it looks okay. I don't know. I guess that looks all right. I think it actually fits on this head better than the Task Force one. But we'll go with this. I like the sculpt. It looks good. So there is Crosshair. Pretty cool figure. Um, he is a sniper, obviously. Ooh, and his scope is crooked. <clears throat> but uh, there is the full image of him. Let me set him down and then we will do another one we'll do another one we shall do another one hopefully i can stump you with the next one let me get this up here and go with this and don't worry i'm going to get to everybody's uh comments and such in a sec so there you go with mr crosshair uh, we can put out, I have some pa I have some pockets and such. We can put that, those on now, and then I'll glue everything before we get to the next character. So, let me get him centered so he's not off center here. Let me dip this hat up a little bit so you can see his face. There we go. That's a little bit better. You know, leaning back, leaning forward. There we go. There we go. What's up, everybody? Everybody's popping in. <laughs> it's nice to see everybody. <laughs> no, I mean there were good guesses. I mean, if you know if you know me and you're a longtime viewer, you know Dusty's my favorite Joe of all time. Um, it goes uh, pretty much. Oh God, I, offhand, it's probably Dusty, then Beachhead, Hawk. Uh, Duke's definitely in the top ten. Not my top five, though. Um, uh, low light. Those are. I'm, I'm actually. I put low light ahead of Beachhead, but those are my top three right there. Um, and then Hawk, and then probably Flint, and then maybe probably Duke after him. Lady J. Uh, Stalker. Stalker's. Uh, I say Stalker and, and Hawk are my two favorite OG-13. But there is him. Well, I'm looking for patches for him. Let me get some Pacherinos, Pacherias. I have a whole lot of bags so you guys can enjoy the rotations. He's on a rotisserie right now. Don't mind him. He's rotisserie. Uh, I don't have his file card. I was looking everywhere for it, and I wanted to include that into, uh, uh, these customs. Unfortunately, I could not find his, his, uh, file card. So, dang it, dang it, and more dang it. So, I apologize for that. Uh, I never would have guessed that mainly because I don't know 
who the hell Crosshair is. Uh, yeah, he came out in uh, Valor versus Venom line. Uh, that was like early 2000s. And he's, a, he's another sniper, um, marksman. But I always dug his design. I thought he was pretty cool. Um, this was actually the the vest that the two th the, the the original Valorous Venom crosshair came with. Um, there was actually a lot of scrutiny behind uh, that vest. The originally the FSS club was going to release it with this vest, but everyone hated this tack vest, which I I think it's fine. I, I don't know why so many people had issues with it, but. I will say this about the original figure. Um, if you have this vet web gear on the original figure, it was kind of tough for him to get his arms down because his, his biceps are so bulky right here, right there. Um, it's kind of hard for him to look down the sights. This guy doesn't have that issue, really. I can get him to look down the sights with those, so I didn't have a problem with that uh, vest too much. I think the, the vest that the FSS Club gave us um, is, is a nice vest, an upgraded vest for him. But um, there's nothing wrong with this one either. So if you, you do happen to track down a, I'll just call him vintage uh, <laughs> crosshair, a new sculpt era crosshair, I think he only goes for like 12 bucks fully complete. So he's dirt cheap if you want to use pieces or parts or anything like that off the original. Um, or the hat or whatever, you know So just an FYI. He does go for really cheap. You can find him on eBay for around 12 13 bucks uh, Did I get any new Joe vehicles? Uh, yeah, Zorpox, I just did a uh, My review on the ice dagger with frostbite So that is done. I'm actually getting I got frostbite a new hat I got him a white beanie instead of the using the black beanie. Um, I just think a white beanie would help him stand out a little bit more. Um, so there is that. While I'm still searching for <laughs> stuff in here, I'm trying to find a tan, a tan uh, pocket. I guess I'm. It's few and far between when it comes to the tan pockets. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Uh, the original uh, also did come with an M16. I can give him a backpack with an M16. Uh, I just have to dremel a little hole right into that web gear. It's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, you, you know, the, the Frostbite update is very simple. Um, I also have ordered a, um, a little uh, shoulder harness for him. Uh, very similar to the regular harness... Uh, that a, like a, I don't know, a police officer would wear just for the shoulders. But that, I mean, it's a very simple, cheap update to Frostbite. So if you're on the fence of getting this, uh, the set as a whole, you can always just, uh, you know, get the head, the goggles, and the hat, and even the, the, the gun, his assault rifle, from Marauders. It'd probably cost you maybe five, six bucks, if that. I think the most expensive thing that will probably cost you the most money is probably the assault rifle. The M, I think, I think it's an M4A1. It looks like an M4A1. I know the original Frostbite came with an M16 with a scope, a very large scope. I always like to think, when I was a kid and I had Frostbite, um, I always like to think that that was a thermal scope to help him see um, what, if there's like a snowstorm or anything so he could see bodies through the snow. But... Um, I know it's technically not a thermal scope, but that's what I like to think it is. Just my my thoughts on the on the matter. So, uh, what we'll do is, since I can't find any pockets, and I don't want to go searching through tons of different baggies full of accessories, we will just leave him as so, and I will probably update. You guys with a... Oh, actually, I could just put this on. I'll give him a little radio. That's perfect. Give him a radio so we can talk to people. Oops. All right. Come on. Come on, little radio. Get out of there. Radio. Huh. 
have I received my my last Marauders order yet? Uh, I think I still have like two on the way, but uh, this was an order. Um, the other two customs that I have sitting here were in order. Uh, there's a couple subscriber characters that I had that came in. So I had a whole bunch come in. Yes, but I, I have received my orders. So that is good. And we'll, you know what? We'll put the, oh, darn it. Now everything's falling out. I, I got to glue him. So we'll do the glue portion now. And we're going to glue him up and spit him out. No, we're not going to spit him out. Zip it up and zip it out. Zippity doo dah, bye bye. Sorry. Little Dave Chappelle there. For those of you that were inquiring. Uh, uh, uh. I also, oh, well, I, uh, I can't show you these because it'll ruin the next custom. Yeah, I can't show you that. Okay, sorry. Sorry to get your hopes up if, if I do. Okay, so well, let's get the glue out. Let's not waste any more time. But I do have M16s. Where did my M16s go? They're somewhere around here. Okay, while I am gluing, you guys can vote as to what you would like to see next. Uh-oh, my screen froze. You gotta love it when, when this when this happens. <laughs> you gotta love it. I wish there was like a way I could just like reboot this without redoing it, but um, hopefully this will get its act right. Or so I'm gonna have to stop the video and then start a new one. Hopefully that doesn't happen, though. Come on. Come on, YouTube. Catch up. Catch up. Oh, it's always something with YouTube. To you. All right, so I'm putting him together right now, and I know you can't see anything. But what I will do... Since this has frozen, I will I will stop the video, and what I will do is I will start a new video, and then, oh god, this is just like not, like, every time I put something in, something falls out. There we go. Um, so, this will be it for Crosshair. Oh my god. Oh, I hate it when this happens and it, it this shit freezes. Drives me nuts. It's frustrating. My pockets are constantly falling out. I swear, as soon as I put one in, there we go. And it's falling out. All right, well, since you're staring at my hairy arm and I'm grasping the figure, <laughs> um... What I'll do is I'll save the gluing portion for another time. And I will start the other video for the other figure. And so, sorry, I can't even look at your comments. This is what's going on with my screen. I wish I could show you guys my screen, but it's literally, I can't do anything. And now my screen is completely frozen. Awesome. So. If you can hear me, I'm going to start a new video, so just uh, give me one second. What in the hell is going on here? 